Welcome to Reynolds Razorback Stadium, where they have been calling the hog since early in the morning in anticipation of this showdown we have coming. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Arkansas State Red Wolves, taking on a team from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Red Wolves will boot it away to start the game. Here's the return from inside his 10. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Razorbacks offense will have the first possession of the game. And this big fella can beat you in a number of different ways in the passing game, David. Yeah, so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's green. Zings it complete to the right. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Well, the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later on. Third and six, and they'll need a big play here on this opening drive. Got a man. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. That's a really nice-looking throw, and I'll tell you, he fits in great with this offense because there's been this philosophical shift recently in the SEC offensively. It used to be you had to run the football. I formation, three yards in a cloud of dust if you wanted to win, but today, though, you have got to be able to throw if you're going to win. You think about all the great offensive play callers now in the SEC, all the Heisman Trophy winners that have played recently at the QB position. you got to do it through the air, and this guy in Arkansas gives them a chance. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Running back searching for a hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Throws it in. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Quick pass on the fly motion. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. Now the eighth play of the opening drive, but this time facing third and long. Back to pass. It's Green. Grabs it in the middle. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, 
Who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. That's reeled in. It's Jackson. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He didn't that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Running back goes in motion. They'll leave it with him. They get him down, but not before he picks up five down to the 17-yard line. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for them. They're about to get through their entire opening script of plays. This is the 11th play of the drive. Third down coming up. Pass rush gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. He needs to make sure those mechanics are pure from the right hash and 40 yards away. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. The coach has to be happy with that. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Arkansas State Red Wolves offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. He's got it on the right. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. On third down, you're thinking it might be passed, so the offense goes draw play, trying to fool you, but it didn't work. Defense wasn't tricked. They're able to make the tackle and now set up fourth. And the Red Wolves send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, David. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. He leaves it with his back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And you really can't be called the Hogs if you're not willing to grind it out in the dirt. Yeah, and I love calling the offensive linemen the Hog Mollies. In Arkansas, in that beautiful state, you're going to find a bunch of big, strong individuals. And the identity of that team is usually built on those guys up front. 
on the ground. It's Jackson. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll do it himself. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. That's what's so great about these QB runs. They just chip away at the defense. And as this game goes on, these little QB runs, they're going to help keep third downs manageable for this offense. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And a good pickup to move the chains and the clock will expire. And that's how they'll be set up to start the second quarter. That's the end of the quarter and Arkansas has the lead. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. The Razorbacks have this offense rolling. To throw, it's green. Get it out on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. The option look. He'll pitch it. They'll finally make the tackle, but that option was executed to perfection. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. And the Razorbacks have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Getting some heat. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. All right, well, that QB knows he now has to get the ball out of his hands quick because that defensive end turned the corner fast. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. It's a draw. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. To the air. It's green. Going to take a shot at this DB. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. The Razorbacks decide to punt it away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin them deep. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the run. Crosses to 40. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing.
Reads it, fires complete. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? Leaves it with the back. Makes his man miss. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield. It's cross. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. You know, and that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. They're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The run from the shotgun. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He caught it! That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Looking to throw, it's Rayner. It's complete! Into the end zone! Touchdown, Red Wolves! Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, but you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him. He can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. That last one looked like a back-breaking drive, David, but they ended up punting. Yeah, and they put some plays together, put some yards. Afterburner's coming. He's got the sideline going nuts as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. And the Razorbacks come to the line in the hurry up. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one.
Now on second down. Back to pass. It's green. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. After the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Not much on that return, but I think they'll let him slide after making that pick, and they'll have it at the 20. What a game-changing play by this defense. Nice job. You got him backed up in their own territory coming out. Now you force the turnover, set your offense up with some great scoring field position. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an up. Headed to the end zone, and he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Arkansas! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. Wants to throw on first down. Makes a connection. Makes the stop at the 33, but it's a 15-yard gain. QBs and wide receivers spend all offseason together throwing the football in air. I mean, really developing that chemistry and timing. Understanding, I get man coverage, I'm throwing this to you right now. The Red Wolves want to move quickly. Looking for a man. It's Rayner. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Quickly complete. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. 
Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. You can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. Looking to go up top on first down. Finds a tight end. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Snags it over the middle. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. And the Red Wolves getting set on first and ten. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, Red Wolves! Reeled it in and just made the house call. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I'll tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. Lining up to add another. And the extra point gives them the lead of 14-13. So an 82-yard drive there. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Brought down at the 31 after a pickup of 10 yards on that one. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Dropping back, it's Green. He's got the back in the middle. Slips a tackle, and he's got room. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. He'll come out throwing on first down. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling an intriguing one so far in Fayetteville. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's hear another hog call and send it back to the guys in Razorback Stadium. The Razorbacks will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. They'll start the third quarter with the run. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when you decide to run. After picking up a couple at second and eight, he's looking to throw. Dances away. Crosses the 30. He's got a late. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. 
He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Quick touch pass to the receiver. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. The give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Looking to throw, it's Rayner. Fires to the big fella. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Throws to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And this offense stays aggressive, and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the catch. He's got enough. And that's where they'll mark him, but a very productive play, and they'll move the chains. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. The Red Wolves moving quickly to the line. They'll throw it on first down. He's got his man. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. The defense needs to have a plan for this guy. They weren't ready for that one. Drag route running all the way across the field. The DB just can't stay with them because of his speed. And as a result, they give up a big one. The noise level is relentless here on second down. They want to just keep throwing it. Caught behind the line. It's crossed. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They're strong, and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Wants to throw. It's Rayner. Caught. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. Into the end zone, and he's got it! Touchdown, Arkansas State! 
nice job by the quarterback there of just letting the play develop. He had his eyes down in the middle of the field, and I think when he saw that deep middle area vacated, he said to himself, I've got a guy running right into that area. I'm throwing this thing on time, and this is going to be a touchdown, and that's exactly what happened. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the returner is stopped. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. They'll run it on the counter. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And the Razorbacks will hustle to the line. Caught over the middle. It's Sategna. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety bite on the run fix. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. The lone back's got it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's green. They're trying to get to him. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Remember some of the years when the Hogs spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy at quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You, you got a running back in there. You know you're not going to throw it very much. But when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Got it in the middle. It's the tag now. He'll work his way down to the 28. The Hogs getting it done through the air, evoking memories of Ryan Mallett. And that's what the fans of Arkansas want to see. They've always got that physical ground game. They always want to have a little bit of balance. And when they get that balance, they get that offense cooking. They get everybody pretty excited. You might even get a woo pig swing. To the ground with the bat. He's just outside the 20-yard line, stopped at the 21 after a pickup of six. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, that was a good play on the ball, getting his hand up and getting the tip, getting the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground. Incomplete pass. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Dropping back, it's Green. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. They bring him down. He's got a first down, but that might be the final play of the third quarter. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen.
Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the game because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. They got the touchdown, but still a two-point conversion short of tying it up late. On the ground. He's into the end zone. The two-point conversion is good, and we're tied here in the final period. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Back to throw, it's Rayner. He's got his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to get it through the air. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. I don't blame them. They're going to keep working this guy out of the slot until somebody finds a way to stop him. Yeah, and why wouldn't you, man? You, you find a matchup that's working, and you got a guy with this kind of athletic ability in the slot. Dude, keep finding him. Keep using different routes. So far, the defense doesn't have an answer for him. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for a running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. Looking for a crease, it's Cross. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Spins away from the defense. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Here on second down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. From the gun, running back gets to give. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big. 
so strong. They, I mean, those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. And the Red Wolves will snap it on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. Across the 25, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Just on the edge of the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. Use the play fake, now to throw. Grab behind the line, it's Stevenson. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Oh, that just really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Dropped after a pickup of four down to the 16. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. Dropping back, it's Rayner. He's got it and still on his feet. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Defenses are put in such a tough spot when offenses get in third and short because the whole playbook is open and they go with the pass. I love it. They sneak the pass in there. Nice success. Great job by the quarterback. Getting rid of the football. Getting the first down. Now set up first and goal. Feeling some heat. Might be looking to run. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And I really like the decision by the quarterback there. And listen, it's early in the downs. Like, don't force it. Don't, don't make a turnover. He tucks it. Get what you can get. And then live to play the next down. I, I like that execution by the QB. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Trying to punch it in. Touchdown, Red Bulls! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. Up and over. Yamo be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Catch in the middle. It's Sategna. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Line getting set on second down. The give to the back. They've got it out to the 34 after getting five there. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. 
We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the catch. It's Armstrong. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. And I love the quarterbacks at this Hit him in stride, man. Hit him where he can catch the football and continue to run and do more damage after the catch like he did right there. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Setting up the screen. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Second down coming up. Back to throw. It's Green. Makes his connection. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. The quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Trying to find his man on first down. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. It's been tough for this QB in this one. Very small windows to throw into, and he's been under some duress as well. It's hard to find a rhythm as a QB in those types of situations, and that's why it appears as though his team's going to be leaving here with an L. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. The Razorbacks have it with a first and ten. Back to the air one more time. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. After missing the connection last time, it's second and ten from the 22. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. One of the things you have to be impressed about this defense is that they've got guys in the back end who can cover, man-to-man -man or zone. That last one gets swatted away. They're in a situation where they're expecting pass. You know this is going to be a tight window to throw into it through the quarterback here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Makes the grab. It's Jackson. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They've got a first down. They're in plus territory, and they've got a chance to win the game. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. Hey, and you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Man, oh, man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front, too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there. He didn't have any. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking downfield, it's green. It's complete to the left. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Third and long, and they can get the first down without scoring a touchdown. From the gun, wants to pass. Snags it. And he will score. Touchdown, Arkansas. Man, great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game now. All you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do, just like practice. Knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. So you think this is automatic? This extra point attempt is filled with pressure. 
And it's good, and we're tied in the fourth quarter. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And what a huge score and extra point there to get it tied in the final minute. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. Handoff to the lone back. Fakes his man out. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. And that will be the definition of first down success. Put yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football. I'm finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Quick strike complete. Oh, what a caught! Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. To the air, it's Rainer. Makes the grab! And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. He's looking to throw. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Defense has made it tough, but they'll try to plow their way in here on third and goal in overtime. On third and goal, they'll throw it. He just about had the pick, and what a play that would have been in overtime, but it brings up fourth down. They'll try to put three on the board and take the lead in overtime. And it's no good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. And that's just the chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Defense has its back against the wall as they try to extend this game and force another overtime. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. The play action fake. Grabbed over the middle. It's Gums. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. Third down, and they want to make sure their kicker has a chance to win it in overtime. Looking for a man. It's Green. Looking to the end zone. He got it! And the celebration is on! A walk-off touchdown in OT! And the big fella runs right down the middle of the field, runs the post route. You could tell quarterback locked into him, throws it up high, lets him catch the football, use his big body to kind of fend off the defenders and get in the end zone for six.